Okay, so we will now uh, solve yung following problems itong ating topic for today. Okay? I have prepared 10 sample problems here for simple interest. Hanggang dyan kay Rose. So now, we will, ano, we will answer this. Okay. So for problem number one, using ko lang to yung aking, uh, yan. For problem number one, Determine the ordinary simple. Ayan, sinabi na agad. Ordinary simple interest. On. On 700 for 8 months and 15 days. If the rate of interest is 15%. Ngayon, paano mo ano yun yan? Paano mo yayariin yung kanyang uh, days? So, ordinary. Ibig sabihin, sa ordinary, you have ano, 1 month is 30 days. Okay? So, you are given 8, eight months. Ano yung ano niya? N. That is 8 months and 15 days. So, simplify muna natin to. 8 times 30. Plus 15. This is 240 plus 15, that is 255 days. Ayan, 255 days. Now, meron tayong given na 15% rate of interest, that is I, and then meron kang given na principal. So, determine the ordinary simple interest in the future work. So, aanapin natin yung malaking I. I, that is E pin. Okay. Now, we can solve for I. Ano yung principal mo? That is 700 pesos. Okay. Yung rate of interest mo is 0 0.15 in decimal and then 255 days. Didivide natin ng ano? Divide natin ng 360. Para ma natin yung days. Okay? So now, we will com compute na. 700. Uy, nag -load. 700. Divide uh, times 0.15 times uh, 255 over 360. Yung. So we have the interest niya, that is 74. This is 74. 74.3. 75 pesos. In, ano, how many days? 255 days. Laki ng tinubo, no? So, that is, for your future naman, hanapin na lang natin, for the sake of calculation, that is P plus I. Malaki. So, 700 plus 74.375. That is equal to peso. 774.375 peso. Okay. That is for problem number one. Then for problem number two. Determine. Ayan na. Exact na. Okay. Ah, may tuturo ko sa inyo class. Okay. Turo ko sa inyo kung paano nyo malalaman kung ilan days in every, ano, kung, kung paano nyo malalaman, okay? Paano ba natin malalaman yan? Tignan nyo yun yung mga bukong-bukong, okay? Huwag sabihin, this is yung merong ano, yung merong buto sa inyong knuckle, ganun nyo yung kamay nyo, yung kay digong, yung fish bump ni digong, okay? Kaya kaliba, fish bump ni digong. Ngayon, malalaman nyo kung 31 days or not, pag ano, pagdating dito. Okay, malalaman mo rin that ang exception niya is 
kapag leap year, ang February mo is 29, pero kapag hindi leap year, yung February mo is only 20. Okay. So, itong may mga buto sa nakel mo, that is 31 days. Okay? Yung walang buto, that is 30 days. So, January, 31. February, hindi pa natin alam, ha? Kasi nasa ano siya, nasa pa, bu wala siyang buto. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Balik ka sa una. August, September, October, November, December. So, December is 31. Okay? So, January muna tayo. January, 31 days. Okay? Alamin muna natin to kung it's either a leap year. Okay? 1996. 1996 divided by 4. Tignan natin kung leap year ba siya. So, uh, 1996. Uy, nagko-close talaga. Nineteen ninety six divide by four. That is four ninety nine. Therefore, this is a leap year. Okay. Therefore, leap year. Yan. So January. Ilan days ba January natin? January. January is 31. February. 29. March. 31. April 30. Lista mo lang muna. Mamaya na itong mga dates. April, February, March. Ah, January, February, March, April, May na. 31. June. Diba? Uh, January, February, March, April, May, June. That is 30. July na, July. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. May buto ulit, 31. Tapos, August, 31 ulit. Kasi may buto. Pabalik sa dulo yan. August, uh, September, 30. November, may buto ulit, October, 31, November, 30 lang, wala naman 31, 30, tapos December, 31. Yan. So, meron ang total ng 366 days dahil leap year. Yan. So, ito na, going to your January 10 to October 28. So, hanggang dito ka lang, i-cut off mo na, okay? January 31, January. Okay? So, dito, 31 minus 10. Yan na. As lista mo, uh, Feb 29, March 31, April 30, tapos May 31, plus June 30, July 31, August 31, September 30, October naman, October 31, 28 minus 31, 28 na yon, October, ipapasok, bilang yun na 28, Yan. so add natin lahat kung ilan day sila, okay, so 31 minus 10, that is 21 dito, 21 plus 29 kasi leap year plus 31 plus 30 plus 31 plus 30 plus 31 plus 31 plus 30 plus 28 yeah. so 292 days 292. 292. Sir, may mas madali pa bang da pala paraan dyan? Yes. Bilangin nyo yun nandito. Ilan days yung kinonsume niya? That is 10. Ilan days yung kinonsume niya from October? So, minus nyo. Ilan ba yung October? October is 31. So, plus 3. Plus 30. Plus 31. Okay? I-minus mo sa 366. 
Ayun yung another way. So, try natin. 366 minus 10 plus 3 plus 30 plus 31. I hope 292. Ayan, 292 rin. Ayan. Okay? So, anong hinahanap niya? Exact simple interest. Interest na naman. I. That is I. E pin. So, that is P I N. Okay. So, P is limandaan. 500. 500. Tapos, meron tayong I. Ano yung I? Is 16%. 0.16. Times. Yan na. 292. Tapos ilan days? Since the period yan, that is 366. Okay. So, calculate na natin dito. Okay. So, that is 500 times 0.16 times 292 divided by 366. Since that is a leap year. Now, the value of your interest is 63 and 83 centavos. 63 and 83 centavos. Okay. Okay, that is the interest now. Okay, so that is for the exact and ordinary simple interest. Okay, so let us take another break.